Okay. Well, uh, good evening all. Um, thank you very much for joining us. My, my name is John Moody, and um, I discovered this technology, or to put it correctly, this technology found me about three and a half years ago at a, at a networking event. And um, uh, like many people, I was immediately very skeptical about the, the properties that were being, were being claimed. Uh, but something caused me to um, uh, dally longer and, and find out more about it to the extent that I actually bought some product to try myself. And I actually had a, had a, a result personally with it in terms of I had a very stiff right hip. And after about three weeks, that loosened up. And it's been it's been fine ever since. It wasn't painful. It just lim just limited my movement. Um, uh, but the, the thing that really uh, opened my eyes to this technology's potential was um, hearing that the, the the technology was invented uh, by somebody whose mother was diagnosed with MS when he was a teenager, and that became a, a life's mission to him to try and find something that would help his mother. Um, and uh, after he, he sold a business when he was uh, young, only 29, became financially independent, and that enabled him to um, re research neurology. And uh, from that, it, it took several years and several million, million of his own dollars came, came this technology. So I went to see a friend of mine who has MS, and um, I told her what I'd found out. She'd had a fall a couple of years earlier. It had really dented her confidence to the degree she used a walking stick even to get around the house, so to get you know across the kitchen and put the kettle on required a, a walking stick. So I told her about the technology, and there are some some as a demonstration you can do uh, to sh show people the difference when they're standing on their own feet versus standing on with with the aid of this technology, and um, and she could feel that difference. I used a pair of insoles at the time, and um, we carried on talking, and she was still standing on a pair of insoles in the middle of the kitchen floor. And after only about another three minutes or so, it's a big grin suddenly appeared on her face and she put her arms out like this and she started swinging around going, Wee! and I, was, I have to say, I've never been so gobsmacked in my whole life. I just thought, oh, wow. Um, and so um, that was the moment at which I started to take this rather more seriously. And to the degree, I started introducing it to people like my colleague, Stuart. So Stuart. Please tell us your brief your brief encounter. Yeah, thanks, John. So uh, when I uh, first started off with this technology, it was a um, I was sitting in a car park. I remember it vividly in uh, outside a bathroom showroom, and um, and this um, this chap uh, rang me and said, um, "Hello, Stuart. You're a golf mind coach. Um, I've got this new stuff coming from Canada that's helping people to hit the golf ball further, straighter. Um, they're feeling more more power, more con more control, more stamina, more energy." Um, and I said, that's very interesting, John. Um, what is this? He said, it's um, it's socks and insoles. And I swore, I must confess, and I said, that can't be right. That's in absolutely impossible. And he told me about a special deal they had on at the time, which was to buy um, a few pairs of socks, give it a three-week a, a three to, uh, to four-week trial, and just see how you get on with 100% money-back guarantee. So I thought, do you know, let's give it a go. It's, it sounds absolutely implausible. Not going to work. I'm just going to try it just to prove it doesn't work. So two weeks later, John rang me and said, um, "How are you getting on? These are rubbish, John. They don't work." It's a, I want my money back. He said, "Well, are you sleeping with them on?" No. Why would I sleep with socks on? That's stupid. I've been in the Arctic Circle. I've been in the South Pole, just about well, not South Pole, but South Atlantic, um, and I've never worn socks in bed in, in my life. So why would I do it now? He said, "Well, just try it. See how you get on." First night of sleeping with socks on was rubbish. I just couldn't sleep with them on. Second night, I had the most amazingly vivid dreams. Um, and just, you know, just things started swimming around my head and I had the most amazing sleep and uh, woke up next morning feeling really refreshed. Next night, again, similar thing. And pretty much every single night from then on, I've uh, had this, uh, this most amazing um, quality of sleep with uh, amazingly vivid dreams. But more than that, um, I went to a seminar in round about February of 2013. 20 I think it was um, and they said that some of the effects that people are experiencing are walking feeling better blah 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 and I heard memory um, and hearing quality and other things as well and sports performance and I just suddenly thought 
my memory had been starting to go about a year before that. So I'd start to forget people's names, start to forget details, get to the end of a sentence, think, what's the word for this? And now I can quite happily stand up in front of people and talk without a script and uh, the words will just flood back. And my hearing quality improved as well. Um, so since that day, I've been researching it, looking into all the people in America that have been um, trying to poo-poo it. Um, I found that neuroscientists, doctors and lots of medical practitioners have been uh, well behind it as well. Um, so that was kind of the uh, start of my journey with the uh, the technology. And now, like John says, I'm uh, I'm like like a reformed smoker, going out and telling everybody about this technology because it say it changes people's lives, right? It saves their quality of life and it gives them hope and dignity. So what I'd like to do is to give you a um, a short slideshow on here to show you about um, the technology, how it came about. Um, and here I go with my faffing around with the uh, with the, the Zoom call. So let's give it a go. Talk amongst yourselves. Can you now see the screen that's got a big screen that says, isn't it time you felt super? We can. Marvellous. And I shall continue. Um, so... One of the um, one of the people from the um, from the recent past that, um, that 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 kind of it kind of gripped me when uh, when I heard this um, this thing from Steve Jobs, um, when he um, when he talks about um, forget about worrying what happened yesterday. So a lot of the medical research that we've got is based on previous knowledge, and they've kind of made it up from from where they've gone in the standing position. Um, if you'd said to Steve Jobs, would you rather have all your fame and fortune, or would you still have your health? I think it's pretty obvious what the answer would be right now. So let's. Bear that in mind about Steve. Technology has um, has had a, a massive boom um, across the whole world in the last um, 20, 30 years. And certainly some of the companies like you can see on the, uh, the slide there, Apple, um, Google, Meta, Microsoft, Amazon. If you'd been able to buy shares in those technology companies at the very start, I'm pretty sure you would have wanted to, uh, to be in a part of that to make your, uh, you make your financial safety for the rest of, the, uh, rest of your life. Um, innovation. Is the driving and sustaining force behind every economic, every major economic success, and it's this technology theme that we want to, uh, to talk about today, um, because this is very much so one of the um, most important technological discoveries of the last fifty years. So, Super Patch um, helps you live your best life, and some of the benefits that people are seeing with these Super Patches are as listed on the screen there. If you've only got a small screen, I'll, I'll read out a few of them for you. So um, immunity. Um, so I'm going to talk about some of the patches later on in a little bit of detail. But immunity, exercise and sports performance, energy, restful sleep, pain management, um, stress relief, focus, balance and stability. These are all key features that we're finding that people are achieving um, when they're wearing this technology. Um, we're also finding that um, a lot of people in the uh, developed worlds in particular are quite reliant on drugs um, of all kinds, in particular opioids. So we found that um, by looking into what's happening in the world, that actually people are after these, um, these benefits, if you like, in terms of um, how they're taking their, uh, their quality of life and what's making their life um, a much more bearable situation. So drug fee, we're absolutely drug free. Non-invasive, you don't have to swallow any pills, potions, lotions, nothing else goes inside the body at all. Very easy to use, quick and reliable, and it's non-reactive. We use hypoallergenic um, adhesive on the patches. They're made of polyethylene, um, so there's nothing that can, uh, that can intrude into the body and they are um, completely safe to use. Anybody can wear them. Um, child, um, pregnant ladies can use them. Got to be very careful of saying these things in Scotland. Um, and there's no requirement to change your diet or your lifestyle, and they are affordable. And that's what we have with this uh, super patch technology. I don't particularly want to spend much time with this, but um, it's really important to realize that this super patch has got no competition whatsoever in the world. And that's quite an important thing to think about when we're looking at um, some of the people that want to join us in this mission, um, because Jay's got a mission of getting this technology onto one billion people worldwide. Um, bearing in mind there are seven, pe seven billion people, that's quite a, uh, quite a stretch target. But with no competition, being non-invasive, um, safe to wear, affordable, et cetera, um, it's, uh, it's very much a uh, great opportunity for everybody to get involved with. 
Um, here's a quick demonstration by um, a, a young lady, a young lady called Brandy. Um, she was in um, Alabama and she um, she had this trial done with her. Um, she had been up and down these stairs a couple of times before the video was shot, but I'll let her explain what's happening to her. Utterly amazing is the is the comment from uh, from Brandy there, and she's just a, a person off the street that happened to go to this demonstration, and she yeah she chose to try this technology out, see how it might affect her. Um, she had no idea how it works, um, but I'm just going to click back to a slide which has um, Jay Dalliwell explaining in fairly simple terms, in layman's terms, how this technology works. So excuse me, I'll just I'll just flip back to that uh, that slide. So here's Jay on the right hand side. You're not getting sounds, Stuart. Say there's no sound, John. No. Well, I'm not getting anywhere whether anyone else is. I don't know. <clears throat> All the neuro. Let me start again. Hi, everyone. It's Jay with Super Patch. I hope everyone's having a great day. People are always asking me, Jay, how do these Super Patches work? So today I'm going to give you guys a high level explanation. So first things first, every physical, emotional, psychological function has a corresponding neuro code in our brains. And these neuro codes, which are just messages, sometimes get stuck or damaged for a million and one reasons, but that leads to poor health, poor wellness, and even poor performance. So after 12 and a half years of research at Superpatch, we actually decoded these messages. We decoded the neural code that can help and control the neural function of physical, emotional, and psychological function. So every single Superpatch has a pattern and ridges in it. And when these ridges come in contact with our skin, the patch uses the receptors in and on our skin to send that message to our brain and the brain decodes it. So every single super patch is generating a very specific signal that's responsible for a physical, emotional, or psychological function. And that's how the super patches work. So all eight super patches have their unique QR code that's sending a unique message that our brain decodes. And that's why we can help with so many wellness, performance, benefits that people are seeing. So till next time, you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Jay. And he talks a lot about this uh, QR code. It's a, um, I, didn't, I didn't realize myself until quite recently that QR stands for quick, quick response. <laughs> it's as simple as that, quick response code. So it makes, makes it absolutely appropriate to talk about it in terms of this quick response because we see that people respond to it within a few seconds of, uh, of trying it on. So we have a whole different range of patches. There are currently, as you can see on the slide there, nine different patches available. And I'll just um, quickly fly past each one of them so you can have a, a brief understanding uh, of what the different um, patches do. So the first one is pain. Um, according to the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence, NICE in Britain, 
10 million people in the UK affected by chronic pain. That's 17% of people affected by chronic pain. Um, and the vast majority of those are taking some sort of medication or drug. Um, so we're uh, very much in the marketplace for, um, for taking them off the drugs. Uh, there was a great trial done recently, or conducted recently in America, uh, with 148 people. And, and of those, the vast majority of people reduced their pain um, significantly and also reduced their um, dedication towards medications as well. So not only did they feel less pain in a 14 day period, they were also less reliant on, uh, on medications. And that's the kind of people that we want to uh, appeal to, the ones that want to reduce pain and become uh, less reliant on drugs. Sleep patch, um, according to the National Health Service, one in three people are affected by insomnia, which has its knock-on effects in terms of um, lack of sleep, um, and it causes those um, those illness in, uh, in different people as well. Stress, um, seven of 10 people are reporting high levels of stress because of various different um, reasons and uh, situations that are arising in the UK right now. So again, this is very much a, uh, a very important area. Um, my personal experience of this is I've given patches to people They've just said, I just feel so much easier um, or, or things just seem so much easier and less stressful when I'm uh, wearing these patches. Health. This is um, my absolute go to patch. So for me, I had lots of allergies and lots of um, hay fever in summertime. When I'm wearing this patch, apart from when it's extremely high hay fever, I get no reactions whatsoever. Um, but the, um, the global immune health supplements market was 20 billion dollars in uh, 2021. So if we can, again, um, help some people to, uh, to not take the drugs, which cause drowsiness and obviously adverse effects, then that would be a good thing to do as well. Um, liberty. Uh, whilst I was researching this, uh, this topic, um, quarter of a million 60 plus year olds hospitalized by a fall each year, um, which is by far the leading cause of injury in 60 plus year olds. And of those people, approximately a third of those people die within a year if they have a hip fracture. So this is all about keeping people st stable and their balance, their coordination, so they don't have the falls, which therefore um, stop people going to hospital, is my, is my thought on that whole thing as well. Attention. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't an instruction. I was ex-military, but that wasn't an instruction. Um, how many people deal with ADHD, ADD and cognitive decline. Well, roughly 10% of school children have these issues to do with attention and focus. And one in nine adults um, report cognitive decline. This helps the brain to just sharpen up, get more focus on, uh, on what they're doing. Athletes, we have a, a patch for athletes. Uh, and again, you can read on there, we have um, reported increases in power, strength, agility, balance, stability, recovery. And again, we have a, a very large a number of people within Britain, um, sorry, within the uh, United Kingdom of Great Britain, Northern Ireland, um, and they, uh, they, they can all benefit by wearing this technology on their bodies. We also have a patch for um, encouraging study. So if people are, like a lot of youngsters these days, driven by an instant gratification requirement from TikTok videos and everything else going on in this six second concentration window that uh, a lot of children seem to have these days, this helps them to stabilize their brain patterns and helps them focus. Um, great for kids going through university, um, great for kids going through um, um, exam um, stresses as well. We also have, um, which I'm currently wearing on my back, a, uh, a calorie um, increased burn patch, if you like. So it's increasing the resting metabolic rate um, by up to 25%. So by doing nothing, you're burning more calories, which um, I know that John's trying this um, technology out because it just recently came out. Um, but I've certainly felt that I've um, gained <laughs> body physique um, because I lift weights as well. Um, gained body physique in that short period of time. And, uh, and, and again, more, more results have come from that later on. So you can see from the, um, the, the, ray, the wide array of patches we have available and the different marketplaces available, we actually have a four and a, four and a half trillion dollar market opportunity with these technologies. No competition, it's very easy to share it with people as well. All the products, by the way, come with a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're not delighted with the results, you can get all your money back. Um, and in, that, in the case that you want to try things for yourself, you should invite 
uh, you should speak to the person that invited you to this call and uh, find out more details because they'll give you a special discount code to enable you to buy the products um, quite easily as well. So some of the study results, we've done uh, lots of studies and more studies are on the way in the near future. There's currently a, a study being uh, finished about the sleep patch. Um, but in the sport studies, we found all these different benefits. So average velocity, as in speed, has increased. Um, eccentric force, pushing and pulling forces. Um, power has increased. Balance and stability has increased. Um, and in, improvement in pain, stiffness and physical function as well. So we found all these great benefits in the, uh, the people that we've been, uh, been working with. If you are at all interested in um, the marketing opportunity and um, jumping into uh, helping us with the, the whole mission overall, um, there are some information pieces available. Um, and right now, which I still can't quite believe, um, for only 50 pounds, you can join this mission. You can get all those benefits on there and you can also get 75 pounds worth of super patches free so you can start your business um, as soon as possible. So at this point, I'll stop the share and invite John to take over for a while. Give me a chance to uh, recover. <laughs> you to unmute yourself, John. Thank you. I was just clearing my throat, fortunately. <laughs> so you didn't hear that. Um, OK. Um, well, so what I'd like to do now is is is, um, is tell some stories. So, um, uh, Geraldine, with that, I'm going to put you on the spot. Is that would would you like to share your uh, your your experiences with this technology? Just to before I before... Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, that uh, is Ros, who's not here tonight. Uh, who introduced me to um, to the socks and because at the time it wasn't so many patches when I discovered it yeah. and uh, she did the experience on me on me and I definitely felt more st stable not that I've got lots of issue about stability but I felt more stable um, you know on the ground but why I was really interesting is was for my dad because my dad's got Parkinson and um, so I did the test on my dad Dad, and it was incredible, absolutely incredible. My dad shakes a lot, has got no, obviously very little stability. And I actually was gripping myself onto his hand and trying to make him fall and he wouldn't budge. So yeah, that was very impressive. So that's, you know, that's why I really believe in it. So um, um, yeah, so that's my yeah. story. <laughs> Lovely, thank you. Yes, it's a, it's a very, yeah, I've seen the video. It does, it is a very, um very very telling uh, result um we, we yeah. I'd, uh, I'd like to share a story um about somebody i've come i've come to know quite well now but who i i, I didn't know previously uh, a guy called ian who's um uh, lives up in scotland and I, I met him on a a virtual networking event and um we decided to um have a one-to-one -one meeting a day or two later and um he had uh, he he had been interested in what I had said in in the, the networking meeting as he picked up on pain, and he didn't didn't tell me too much about why he was interested, but he did want to buy some patches to try. So we arranged for that to happen. Um, the patches were shipped to him, and they arrived on the Friday afternoon. And on the Sunday, I had a message from him saying, "We need to talk." And uh, I thought, "Oh, that doesn't sound very good." <laughs> And so, I, so I rang him, and he said, um, explained that he hadn't told me his reasons, his reasons for for wanting to uh, to try the technology out because he didn't want me to influence his thinking. Um, so he then told me his story. Um, he was born with physical defects. His mother had taken um, a, a particular drug, um, and it had caused uh, defects in in his in his body. Uh, so he was born with curvature of the spine and bits missing in his in his in his thorax um, and that caused him to live his life in chronic pain uh, he was taking um, strong painkillers every day and we're not talking you know the the, the, the over-the-counter stuff we're talk, talking serious you know what i call horse pills um, he was taking 12 to 16 of these pills a day and the reason he sent me the message was that he hadn't needed to take his painkillers on those two days when he had had the patches 
So immediately he had an immediate result uh, with, 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 with the patches. Um, he's now gone 18 months and not had recourse to take those painkillers for for, for, that, for those particular issues that uh, oh, he was at the time. Yeah. And, and more, more than that, it's enabled him to sleep better. It's enabled him to concentrate better when he's working. And the big result from him is he's able to enjoy playing at, at playing out in the garden with his kids. That they both ride ponies, so he's up up at the uh, the stables mucking out and and but just you know joining in. Whereas previously he'd have just sat there and watched them. Uh, so huge huge um, improvement to yeah. his, his 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 quality of life. Um, so. Um, yeah, Stuart, have you got, you've got one you might like to add? <laughs> got loads. Um, it, it's, it's, it's also very telling that um, when I remember um, listening to Ian's story fairly recently as well, and um, he said that the biggest thing for him was when he was playing on the floor with his kids in the, uh, in the in his house. He said that previously he'd have to kind of roll over and wallow and take about you know twenty minutes, I think it was, to get up, and uh, and now he just plays on the ground, just gets up without thinking about it. So um, you know, I've heard so many stories of people that have um, either got their father back or got their mother back. Um, one of the, uh, again, one of the ones I shared with you before was um, this chap, David, um, another the lady, Alison, in, uh, in Vista in Oxfordshire. Um, she, um, she actually bought some technology for her mum. Um, so she bought quite a lot of it. It was a special offer pack or whatever it was. And, um, and I didn't know she'd taken it for herself. So I rang, rang her about three weeks later to say, Hey Alison, how's it going with the uh, with your mum, um, who lived in America? Um, she said, "Well, she won't wear it." Oh, well, that's um, that's that's not great news for me. Um, where can we go from there? She said, "Well, can I just tell you about what I've been doing?" Yeah, okay. Um, she said that um, when she was um, age twenty, uh, she'd done a lot of dancing in her youth, and her feet were kind of crippled with pain, so her toes were knurled over they were in pain and every time she walks or flexed her toes it gave her a huge pain and she said that after three weeks she was walking down the stairs in her house with wearing just the socks in this case and she said that um she felt like it was like minty mouthwash being wafted across her toes and she suddenly realized that she could bend her toes down the stairs um, and i just said well what does that mean to you and she said <laughs> which <laughs> still gets me when i speak about it she said i feel like dancing again and for her, dancing was such a big part of her life that she was denied because of the pain. And she just said, I, I, I just feel like dancing. Mm. So that was, for me, just, just you know, a, a completely life-changing story. And, um, yeah, it's we, we, we get the, the great joy of hearing stories like that all the time, John, don't we? We do. <clears throat> we do. And that's, uh, Can I ask mm -hmm. you if you've got um, any experience with children with um, autistic and um, HDHD? Have you got, do you know any story about that or? Um, the, so um, are, are you a member of the, the Facebook group, Geraldine, the one that's the, the it's called, Super, yeah. it's now called Super Patch Testimonials. Um, okay. But if you, if you search um, on autism or ADHD, you'll find quite a few stories um, and some, and some, some of them are videoed where you can see the, the, the change in behavior in the child from uh, without tech to with, with tech and and it, it's it's unbelievable to be honest um, but so we can't make we can't make any claims about this but you know there are there are a, a number of testimonials in in on the testimonial page um, that, that you okay. can find but say if, if you if you search say just on on the condition and and you'll, you'll find the answers um, and and I I don't, I, is, has, has, does Joy have access to the testimonials? Do you know, Geraldine? No, you... no, because I've just talked to, well, I talked to Joy more seriously today about it. So, no. Right. So, maybe um, if you could so, invite her on the Facebook. Are, are you a Facebook user, Joy? Okay. You muted, so, Joy. Fine. Okay. She, she, yeah. if, you, if, you, um, if, you, if you go into groups on Facebook, and you and ser search for super patch testimonials. Yeah. Uh, then that'll take you into the in into the, the group. There's fifty five thousand members of the group. So <laughs> there, wow. there are there are 
a large volume of stories and then okay. there's, then you can use the search facility to, to filter by subjects of interest so you, you mentioned mm. your, your friend with ms for example so if you searched on ms you would find all the stories that people have posted mm. about results with ms so with these patches how how long do they last 24 hours 24 hours okay for each one face them every single day yeah yeah so it's just put more morning routine it's nice and easy take a patch off bang a patch on you could you're good to go for the day and, so it doesn't uh, matter where you put the patch or no okay not anymore no with these with these new ones you can put them anywhere Geraldine. oh wow so how many patches do you wear you two <laughs> <laughs> um, are you all patch are you all multicolored at the I, back <laughs> I, I i fluctuate between two and four. Oh, okay <laughs> And do you always wear wear the the um the main one the H um, I never yes. remember the HTP. Yeah, so that that's now uh, that's called the we have, that's now called the Liberty patch, and so yes I, I so I either wear the Liberty patch or socks or insoles. So I've got some insoles on at the moment. Um, I'll sleep in some socks, and if I'm going to play golf, I'll put a patch on as well. Just give me give me a uh, a bit extra. of extra a bit of extra turbo. Yeah. So do you do you can you can wear jersey insole without the socks? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. So as, as long as you've yeah. got something on you, then you've 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 you've, you've, you've got so you've got the cover. Uh, but okay. It's... So let's uh, let's just, let's just close down the recording, and then um, then we can uh, perhaps have a Q and A Q &A afterwards. So uh, so for the benefit That's of those right. watching on a replay, um, which on the recording, um, then we do not claim to uh, to fix, diagnose, or treat any particularly named medical um, conditions, um, purely because we haven't got the particular study that proves those those things. We of course have um, lots of stories about people that have been helped in different ways. Um, but not for named conditions. Um, and if you are interested in, uh, in finding out more, then please speak to the person that invited, invited you to this call so they can uh, guide you through the process. Um, so that's it. Thank you very much for, uh, for watching. Good night. <laughs>